What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my first YouTube video. Now, this is only my first YouTube video, so bear with me. It's not going to be a high quality, high top notch video, but I promise you, as I make more videos, I will keep improving myself. Now, without further ado, um, I want to talk about what I'm going to show you today. So a few months ago, I bought myself some new toys. I got this new equipment, lighting equipment called Optical Spot. Again, it's Optical Spot. Um, it's, it's developed by Westcott Lighting and then um, it's created by Lindsay Adler. Um, she's one of my favorite photographers. She um, is just amazing with um, studio photography lighting, portraits, fashion photography, I highly recommend you to check her stuff out. Um, but without further ado, I want to talk about um, this um, optical spotlight. Um, what it does is basically is um, it creates a spotlight effect um, on your studio photography. But what it does is basically um, this thing where you attached where you attach it to your either constant light or strobe light um, and then you attach this lens on this um, on this thing i don't know what i should call it forgive me um, and then when you attach it um, there's also this i i'm gonna call this socket <laughs> this is where you can freely adjust how you want to um, have your light shown um, I'm going to show you how it looks like. So um, you can adjust this where you can um, make your light either a spotlight, circle spotlight, or you can um, adjust these four things here and make it like a square or triangle or whatever shape you want to make it, you know? And then, um, and so when you, after you attach the lens, um, it's gonna basically focus um, the light onto the background. What I really love about the optical spot is that it comes with these different, um, these different gobos. Um, gobo is such a cool name, right? Um, you got this circle shape, you got these five small circle shape, and then you got this medium circle shape, and then you got all these cool shapes. So these are the um, complementary gobos that comes with the optical spot. And uh, honestly, if you want to just um, play with it, you know, I think these are sufficient. But if you are in the mood to be more creative and just find out what other shapes there are out there, um, the website also offers I believe three different other kinds of um, gobos. So what I got was the geometrical shape or abstract shape, I forgot the name. Um, so like this really cool ones that I like to use. And then this one. Um, and then um, just tons of cool geometric shapes. Um, and so yeah, I really, really like these different gobo shapes. And um, in this video, I'm going to show you just some behind the scenes um, video of a shoot that I did with my friend recently. I just used the round circle shape, um, but with some additional lighting, colored lighting on the side. And you can see just like how elevated your photography is. You can just feel the empowerment in the photo. And um, I hope you enjoy this video.
Now, of course, I just showed you the most simple way of using the optical spot, which is having the optical spot sh um, directly shine on the background and the subject. Um, you know, as you've already seen, it's very powerful, very empowering, and just very elevated, elevates your photography. And there are tons of other ways to use it, tons of different angles to put your optical spot. And I am going to show you in my next few videos um, how to use different kinds of gobos and how just the results of different gobos and um, the difference between having the optical spot shown from the side or you know from up top really high or from low angle or having the optical on the side tons of different other ways um, and I'll show you in the next few videos and if you do have similar equipment um, please feel free to share with me tips and um, let's exchange different um, ideas and let's make each other's photos even better Thank you for watching and I hope you like my content. Like, comment and subscribe and even donate um, so that I can keep creating contents like this. And thanks again for watching.